To all ADF commanders that are coordinating the commitment of our soldiers, sailors, airmen and women alongside the emergency services in response to the fires, it is with the utmost humility that I am appointed as the Emergency ADF National Support Coordinator and in that capacity your commander for this combined effort. The ADF surge to support the Australian response to the bushfire emergency is to have an immediate, demonstrable and positive impact in order to support our emergency management services and affected fellow Australians. I want to provide you my guidance as you tackle this difficult task at hand. Safety first, we are not to become a part of the problem. Get the priorities right, these will constantly change. I need you to watch, assess, amend and then act. Put others first, provide our emergency service personnel and affected civilians with what they need and when they need it. We are focused on providing a meaningful contribution and reinforcing their leadership at all levels. Lean forward and offer the best and most appropriate advice for the use of our unique assets to best meet their needs. Do not put off to tomorrow what can be done today. We will be judged on our responsiveness, and we should be. Don't turn away anyone in need. If you don't have a solution, go and find one. If we can do it, and it's ethical and responsible, we will. Do not have our people or assets dormant. If there is not an immediate task, think of a task that will need to be done tomorrow and do it today. Be thoughtful and imaginative. And finally, help us tell our story in the media, but when I'm referring to our story, include the emergency services. We are there to support them. Never make it about us. Make it about the ADF as part of the community and as part of the nation. Make us proud like you always do. My thoughts and prayers will be with you all as you lean in side by side with our fellow Australians at this critical moment in time.